Did you know that your watches and clocks would not work if it were not for the battery? One of the earliest versions of the battery is the voltaic cell. Today we will learn how to make a simple wet voltaic cell. We will need copper plate, zinc plate, wires and a bulb and dilute sulfuric acid in a beaker. So now let's make one and see how it works. Take the zinc and copper plates and connect a wire to both of them like this. They will act as electrodes. Next, put the copper electrode and the zinc electrode into the acid. Make sure they do not touch one another. The bulb lights up. We can see that the bulb has started to glow although it is not connected to any external source of electricity. This shows that the setup is generating electricity. How do you think this happened? The two electrodes are dipped in an electrolytic solution. The zinc gets oxidized and loses electrons forming zinc ions. The copper electrode acts as an electron acceptor. The flow of electrons from zinc to copper through the bulb makes it glow. We have converted chemical energy into electrical energy. Do you know that most of the batteries we use nowadays are dry batteries where the electrolyte is in the form of a paste, not a liquid. However, wet batteries are still seen in cars and inverters.